Hello and welcome to Driver's Therapy. This is the fifth video of our course, How to Use a Multimeter Like a Pro. In this video, we're gonna talk about the care of a multimeter, we're gonna talk about the different brands, and then finally, we're gonna talk about the multimeter lead adapters, which I'm really excited. So this is gonna be a really cool video, guys. Trust me, you're gonna learn a lot. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Now let's talk about how to take care of your multimeter. Well, first off, I'm a big believer that if you take care of your tools, your tools will take care of you. So a couple of don't do's, don't drop it, don't throw it. <laughs> you know, us car guys, we get angry in the garage. Don't throw it, trust me. Another thing is don't grab it with dirty, greasy hands. It really just really makes it aesthetically look bad and the buttons and all that can be impacted by that. But as far as maintenance goes, it's pretty maintenance unheavy, if that makes sense, or let's see, not very high maintenance. Um, and essentially, when you pull up this little uh, stand here on this particular multimeter, you can replace a nine volt battery. A lot of um, multimeters you can replace a battery, but on this one it's nine volts and you can get to it pretty easy with the screw here. Also, you can replace the fuse in case you blow it and have an oopsie, and that's replaceable. You're not technically supposed to do that often, but it gives you the option to do that. But besides that, um, you definitely don't want to uh, hurt your leads. You don't want to carry your multimeter by the leads. I see a lot of that. And you also don't want to like just tighten up that uh, multimeter. You want to gently wrap your uh, multimeter around. All right, guys, that's about it. Now let's talk about our different types of multimeters. Well, first off, this is a multimeter from Amazon. It was about 30 bucks, and let me tell you, this is like my best friend. This guy did not let me down. As a matter of fact, I was able to troubleshoot one of the hardest automotive gremlins I've had to date. It ended up being the ECU, but in order for me to get to that conclusion, this multimeter helped me a lot testing sensors and wires and everything, so this little guy is awesome. On the right, we have a Fluke multimeter. And first off, Fluke is pretty much the number one brand for multimeters. It's undisputed. They are awesome. They are known to be reliable, precise, and just has a great reputation. But like anything really nice, it's quite expensive. Like this one right here, guys, this is an entry level Fluke multimeter. Not a lot of functions, very straightforward. And this was over $100. As a matter of fact, our little buddy here actually has more functions than our Fluke. Now you're probably thinking, I am pushing the Amazon quite hard. Well, as a matter of fact, my professional and personal recommendation is if you are a working electrician or technician, automotive, aircraft, HVAC, whatever, if in a daily basis you're dealing with electricity or taking measurements, it's gonna be the Fluke. And the reason why is because it's just reliable, well-built, and you know when you're taking your measurements, you're gonna get something very precise. You just got a great backing. And it also comes back down to the old saying, buy once, buy right. Unfortunately, this is where I might uh, make you think twice about that suggestion, and that's because this entry-level multimeter is 100 bucks, and I wouldn't recommend this for a professional. You would have to get a multimeter that has a lot more functions and capabilities, and those run about $300 and above. I know. But if you are a hobbyist and you just use a multimeter every now and then, you want something reliable and you just want something for your toolbox, or if you just want an extra multimeter, this is it, guys. This is awesome. This is a great one. So you really can't go bad with them. You just have to understand that at the end of the day, it really comes to preference and what you're using it for. And of course, professionals, go ahead and stick with Fluke. Every day you wanna just use it, and as you know, I've had great success with, uh, with an Amazon one from this company called Innova, and you can't go bad with this one. We are now going to be talking about multimeter lead adapters. And I am really excited and a little emotional because these guys, I made these when I was deployed in Afghanistan. And I use these every day, 12 hours a day sometimes. And these were just literally, in my opinion, they just helped me out so much. And they saved me from so much work and they just bring back a lot of memories. 
So we're gonna talk about multimeter lead adapters and tell you why they're important. Well, first off, one of the most important thing about multimeter lead adapters is that they're usually gonna be a specific type of adapter. And what I mean by that is, let's go ahead and look at one. And if you look at this, this is actually a pin that was on the connectors on an aircraft that I saw daily. So this was a standard male side pin. And so I know when I was gonna go test a female connector that this was the exact same pin that was being used on a male connector. And so when I was testing things, I knew that that was gonna be a perfect fit and I knew that it was designed for that. It wasn't loose, it wasn't gonna fall out, it wasn't too tight and it was gonna damage the connector. So what I did is I took a pin and a wire and I, and I crimped it down, heat shrinked it. And then on the other side, this was a little more fun, we had a bench stock and what I did was I tried to find the perfect fitting female connector to fit the multimeter lead. And it took some testing, and the main goal is you didn't want it to fall off really easily. This one's not too tight on there, but I mean, if I move it around, it's not gonna fall off, but I wanted to make sure it could connect to the standard multimeter lead, and it does. So how does it work? All right, I'll give you a great example here. We're gonna take this battery, and this battery is a, let's see, uh, it's a standard lithium battery, 4.8 volts. And if you look, let's say hypothetically, I wanna check the voltage on this. Well, I'm gonna to try to zoom in and show you how this connector looks. Let's see if, okay, there it is, I think. All right, so essentially, this connector is, has small little uh, receptacles or, or for its pins, but when I try to put a multimeter lead, it's not gonna fit in there, right? There's nothing you could do. And if for some reason you were able to fit that in there, you're not gonna be able to fit both in there just because of the physical dimensions. The reason why adapters are so critical is because they allow you to go ahead and solve that problem by being able to insert a pin, as you see that went in there, and then I'm gonna put another adapter in here and put in the other side. And now they're connected. Now, check this out, I'm gonna zoom in again. See if I can get some focus here. It's hard to get focus sometimes. My camera's got ADD. All right, so they're both connected, right? So now we're gonna be, and they're not touching, so now we're gonna be able to take a measurement. So I'm gonna put the power on power and the ground on ground. We're gonna complete the circuit and look at our multimeter, guys. 4.979 volts. And we were able to test this battery because of our multimeter lead adapters. Well, I hope you guys learned a lot about that because that is really cool. And guys, this is gonna be one of the coolest things you will do because like me, I kept them for a long time and I still use them uh, on a quite regular basis. So they are what you would call indispensable. And that concludes our video five and our course. Woohoo! You guys are official graduates of Driver's Therapy's first course and now you have the tools and skill sets to go out there and use a multimeter like a pro. I can't stress how much I appreciate you guys watching. I really thank you and I, and I recommend and also appreciate if you guys share this with anyone you think might learn from it. Well you guys, thanks a lot. You take care, you stay tuned and we will see you soon.